So here's how to get better with the Phantom. Uh, there's three main things. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is spraying or recoil control. So everyone loves to spray with the Phantom, right? Um, but you have to recognize when you want to do it and when you don't want to. So for example, if you're holding this and like there's mostly going to be like four or five people rushing you in ranked, right? Unless you're a Jet Arena who can like dash or dismiss away, you don't want to be in this situation like crouch spraying. Okay, unless you get really lucky RNG and you just spray them all down. But most likely you're not going to be able to do that. You want to recognize when you want to commit to the fight and when you don't. For example, if you're in this kind of situation where you're trying to 1v1 someone CT, you don't really want to be crowd spraying because it's going to it's going to be hard to hit your bullets and especially if they're like counter strafing around. Oh, the other situation is if if you're holding this, for example, and there's like a sage slow and a smoke here, and the enemy for some reason pushes, okay, or they like flash out and try to push, then you can commit to like crash spraying, right? And you can you can spray a lot through smokes, yeah, it's fine, but it's a bit of a commitment. And you you just want to be sure that you want to commit to the fight and. Otherwise, you'll be easily traded if you're not um, counter strafing. So, spraying is good. It's fine. It's, it's a fine thing to do. Uh, people always say, oh, crouch brain bad. You should never do it. Like, there'll probably be some people in the comments saying that as well. But it's okay. You can do it. It's fine. If you watch VCT, most pros like insta crouch spray. Maybe they're like panicking, but it's not a bad thing as long as you're accurate. You should run. Defeated. I am so good. Okay, so if you're in a 1v1 situation, I wouldn't recommend spraying more than around 10 bullets. Uh, after 10 bullets, your bullets start to go like really inaccurate. It's really hard to control because um, it's RNG based. So if you spray more than like 10, just try and reset it and then uh, shoot again. That's if you haven't killed them within those 10 bullets, which you, sh you should be doing, but um, it's fine. Okay, so when you're spraying those 10 bullets, you need to be accurate with them, obviously. And you just need to learn the recoil pattern of the Phantom, which is... It goes up and then like... That, and then left, right, like that, right. But you don't want it to get to that point up there, because that's really bad. You just want to be shooting for that vertical bit, okay? So if you just shoot like this, you can see like it's smaller and the recoil increases as you spray more. Pull down a little at first, and then more as you spray more. So it's like, like that, right? Like, it can't always be accurate, but if you just practice it, you get it to like a good enough place where you're pretty much accurate. Okay, so the second part is counter strafing. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's just moving to one side, shooting and the other stopping shooting stop shoot stop shoot like that but the thing the thing with the phantom is you can do it a lot faster than the lander i guess because the recoil uh, reset is a lot shorter for the phantom if you do with the uh, vandal like that after a few bullets it goes like that so that's something you can abuse with the phantom that you can't with the uh, vandal just practice this in the range like anything Range, custom, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but um, just practice the timing of this and get it down until it's like muscle memory, kind of. Uh, obviously, you don't want to just be doing this in like fights, right? That's too predictable. If your enemies are like kind of good, they can just predict your movement and tap you. So, what you can do is like mix it up a bit. So, like you can do like short strafes into a long one or like longer strafes in between, right? that right you can mix it up a bit just don't be too predictable for the most part this is fine okay, so with the strafing there's something that you can kind of abuse with the phantom it's jiggling right so if you're going like this you can see my bullets are still 
really accurate, right? So you can just go like this, jiggle. And it's really hard to hit you, but you can just hit like the most random lucky shots. So this is just another thing that you have to practice, you have to know the timing of when to uh, be shooting. So what I do is, uh, when peeking this, I'm pressing D, right? So instead of like counter strafing, uh, I peek, I press the opposite key, shoot, like that, right? But for this one, you want to be letting go of either side movement key and then press the other one. So it's D, you shoot as you press A, as you're going back like this. Good. You can see from the graph it's inaccurate, but like it's still kind of accurate, right? There's movement error, but it's still kind of accurate with the Phantom. So this is just something that you can abuse with the Phantom. Remaining. Okay, so the last thing is you need to know what type of fights you're taking. So your playstyle with the Phantom and Vandal kind of has to be different. I would recommend taking, taking like closer fights if you're on defense, right? Because obviously the Phantom is a lot better uh, in close range than the Vandal. This kind of this kind of fight is pretty good. Okay, where you just wait for them to come out, like holding like this in a bit of an off angle. That's good, right? What you don't really want to be doing is taking this kind of fight, right? It's a long range, right? Your second bullet is going to be kind of inaccurate, right? You can see that, right? Like, second bullet is not going to hit the same face, so it's kind of risky to be taking these fights if they have a vandal and you just tap them once and they tap you. A lot of people complain about like, oh, Phantom, I always hit them 140s. Probably just because you're taking bad fights. You shouldn't be taking those kind of fights. So if you're defending on the sand, this is the type of fight that's good, right? Unless they're coming here. But like, if they're coming up cat and you're defending here, that's a good fight. This is close range for you, right? Or like here, in your close range. Maybe a bit further so you can have like the angle advantage. Or like this. Close range fights is a lot better. Even from here, this wouldn't kill them in one shot. You just tap 140 in the head, dash away, which is still pretty good. But what I like to do is just take close range fights where I know I can kill them and then get away. Okay, so this kind of crosses with my point from earlier with the jiggling, right? So how I like to peak angles instead of like this, you see, like if you watch EA, he goes like this, right? Like little by little. Um, but with the Phantom, I don't like to do that as much. You can kind of use this kind of thing, like jiggling, angles a bit bit by bit like opening it like this because if there is someone you just like do that right you can abuse the jiggle straight shooting mechanic that i said earlier it's really effective especially against people who are just bad and just like peeking big angles like this right you can just like jiggle and tap them like that right so that's how i'd um recommend you take fights on attack when you're clearing angles just jiggle it a bit like this like that you'll have like a much bigger advantage than if you're just going like this and then try to two tap them or one tap them so yeah that's pretty much it you just need to know when to spray when to counter strafe you need to learn the recoil 
and you need to learn the timing of the counter strafe and don't take bad fights for you like you have to recognize the advantage of the phantom and utilize it rather than just doing what it's weak against right like long range fights okay so with long range fights with the phantom what i like to do to uh try and win them is i aim for like the neck so the second bullet that usually goes up right it goes up a bit if you shoot at the neck or do like one body shot one headshot like immediately that either that or you think them straight a bit and think again or body shot them slow them down and then hit them in the head 